Hi, you probably heard of adaptive components in Revit and you maybe also heard that it's so complicated to work with them that you should be an expert if you would like to use them in your projects at Tessera. But it really doesn't need to stop you using them and starting discovering their potential. That's why I made this video where you are going to learn how you can create this complex geometry for beginners in a very simple and a quick way using adaptive components in Revit. I'm in the Revit right now and the first thing we're gonna do is go to and create a new family and pick the conceptual mass. So here we are just going to create a simple mass. I'm going to do south elevation, I will create one more level. Double L is a shortcut or you can simply go there and then take this one. And let's make it like this. Then I will go to the level one and I'm going to create a couple of splines. I will just use this spline to points. You can take any of the lines you want. I will select the second one. I will go to cut, paste and align to level two. And we'll do the similar thing at the opposite side. And let's go to 3D. Now from 3D, I'm going to select all those four lines. I'm going to divide path, it's here. And I'm going to pick the number of, let's say, 20. And now comes a very important part and I'm going to create adaptive component. So the way to do that is just to go to file, then new, family, and I'm going to pick, in this case, this pattern based. If you take a look here, we see that this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, this is number four. Okay, so now I need to create a shape of our structure. The way to do that is just, let's say, let's set this one, or if you would like to be sure, completely sure, you can just uh, take a point element, you can place it, let's say here at the middle. You can go to set for working plane and set this one, and then I'm going to draw the shape and I'm going to make it, let's say, 25 in this play, in this direction, 100 there. Then I'm going to select those lines and this one. And I'm going to create a form. I'm going then to save family. And I'm going to load it into the project. I will go to 3D and then I'm going to place a component. So you go to create component and then pick this one. So take it and then select through four of our points. Why you are going through four of the points? The reason is that we have four adaptive points in our adaptive family, as you could see, one, two, three, four. And then I can do the same thing. CM is a shortcut. But you know, clicking a lot of those points could be a very boring job. So you don't need to do that at all. No worries. What you have to do is just to select one of those elements we just created. And then here you have something which is called repeat. Just click this one and then it's going to repeat through all our surface. What is very good thing, if you select our curve and you select one of the points and let's say we go down, our shape is going to follow. And also, if you select those lines and we said that, okay, we don't want to have 20, we would like to have 30, for example, it's going to be updated automatically. And for example, we don't want to have those profiles here at the bottom. We can just go to the family. I will select this structure we made. And in this case, just instead of creating point in the middle, I can just set reference plane here and then I can create our profile. And now I will select the profile and we'll select all those reference lines, but I will hold shift and I will unselect this one. We'll just go to create form and then we'll go load into project. All right, let's go to 3D and here it comes. 
basically that was it for this tutorial i showed you a very simple way how you can create something and then you can really investigate the things with adaptive components because their potential is huge so please do that like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much